Hello, today I'm going to show you how to build an Alpine Docker container. And the reason you would build an Alpine Docker container is because the Alpine containers are actually a lot smaller than the Ubuntu or Debian or Cento versions of Docker containers. And I'll show you that here. So if I do Docker images, I don't have any images here, so let's pull a couple here. And we'll check the size and see. Let's see. Debian. And let's pull Alpine. And then we're going to run Docker images. So you can see right here, we have three different sizes. 114, 72, and then Alpines, which is 5.61, which is crazy small and that's what you want when it comes to the docker containers and <clears throat> one of the reasons why they're so small is the the c library in alpine and the reason this is what they're using for for the c library so your typical software may not run in this container. So just forewarning, um, you should know if you need glibc or some other like C library, this is running <coughs> this this other type of lib, this, this library here. But what's still really nice is that this is still a whole Linux distribution under the under the hood. So let's make a new directory and we'll just call it alpine image 2 and we're going to do a new docker container and the first thing you do is do from alpine and then you're going to do there's a single command that um, runs updates for Yeah, there's a single command I just used. I, here, I have it in this other file. So yeah, you want to do run. You want to just do all this. I'll just copy paste this. This command upgrades. This command installs Python 3. This last command says, what do you want to run at the end? And we can actually even just do Python 3 here, I believe. Let's try that. Actually, I don't think, you, yeah, that should work fine. So let's do docker build minus dot minus T, and then you pick the name you want. So I'm just gonna pick my username and then latest. And this will get you an Alpine image with Python 3. And you do Docker images, and now you'll have four Im images here. And you can see how super small this is with Python 3, which is great. It's even smaller than Ubuntu and Debian's image by a, a lot. So let's show you it running Python 3. You can just run this. Um, yeah, see, so couldn't find Python 3. So let's do this. If you change that, you have to rebuild it. Then we just do Docker images again. You'll see this is a bad, it has none here, and you can remove it real quick if you want to get rid of that. I guess you can't. Ugh. It's because other containers are running. This one. So you got to remove this container first. Now you can remove that. Now you can do Docker images, and that's all gone. 
So that's how you can do cleanups too that are a little manual, but um, are also useful. So now let's take this and see if this will run. There we go. Python 3.8, 3.8.8, and you can do well true. Always use spaces and not tabs in Python for spaces all the time. And there you go. That's how you can get a s extremely small Python 3 image here and then run code on it very easily. Uh, that's pretty much how to start building an Alpine image. Uh, thanks for watching. Till next time.